Hey, it's Tom for Barons Bees. In this video, I wanted to give you three pieces of advice so you can get started in the hobby of beekeeping. The first uh, and most important consideration is location. Where will you place your hives? My suggestion is to place your beehive uh, as close to your residence as possible, and this will minimize the amount of time and stress moving between uh, your beehive and where you live or where you keep uh, your other suppliers to conduct uh, beekeeping. Uh, another important consideration for location is to ensure that the bees have the early morning sun. This means that the bees wake up and are energized to go and start foraging for nectar and pollen and other resources as well. When you're thinking about location, uh, make sure that the beehive is off the ground. Uh, this will reduce the amount of moisture intake uh, in the hive and also uh, give it a barrier between uh, other insects such as ants who may be seeking out the honey as well. So when you're uh, choosing a location for your beehive, I'd also recommend to have enough space uh, on a platform so that when you disassemble the hive for an inspection or to extract honey, you have space to store uh, your equipment that is needed to conduct uh, the inspection or the extraction of the honey. Especially if you're in Australia, uh, it's important that you have some kind of uh, shade protection during the hot summers uh, so that the bees can maintain the temperature of the hive. Um, this is important and the bees will naturally adapt and uh, reduce the amount of uh, high or high heat temperature in the hive um, naturally. But if you can provide shade, this will save them precious resources uh, so that they can keep producing honey, especially when a flow is on. Leading into number two, number two is uh, equipment. What equipment we need to get started in the hobby of beekeeping. Uh, the first and most important uh, piece of equipment you'll need is a smoker. A smoker is used to uh, disturb the bees pheromones so that you can uh, safely uh, open the hive um, without getting stung. It also alerts the bees that there is a potential forest fire and this uh, enables them or makes them react in a way so that they can eat honey, which slowly uh, sedates them as well. Uh, so you'll need a smoker to get started. Next, you'll also need a hive tool. A hive tool is used to scrape down beeswax or propolis, uh, a sticky uh, resin that the bees use to seal up different parts of the hive. And a, bee, uh, a hive tool uh, is important in order to uh, uh, lift up different frames uh, so that you can inspect uh, the comb and the brood pattern and their stores as well. Uh, what else we you need? You'll need a bee brush. A bee brush is used to uh, gently remove bees from frames. And you'll also need a spray bottle. Uh, you can use a spray bottle with sugar syrup and this enables you to distract the bees. Uh, another method uh, that doesn't involve smoke. So. Uh, the third and final point is uh, equipment, uh, sorry, is protection. What protection we need as well. Uh, you'll need a bee suit, a bee veil and bee gloves, and this will protect you from most of uh, the bee stings uh, if they occur. Some advanced beekeepers don't use gloves, uh, but I wouldn't recommend this to beginners. So in this brief video, we went over location, uh, equipment and protection. I hope this inspires you to start the journey of beekeeping. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them uh, down below. If you have any constructive feedback, I would really appreciate that as well. So uh, this has been Tom for Barron's Bees. Thanks.